Hello again, this is Zoe, and I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial. I'm very glad to hear that people have enjoyed my watercolor painting in Photoshop tutorial, and this is going to be about oil painting in Photoshop. If you haven't watched my watercolor painting tutorial, I recommend that you do so, because what I'm going to do in this tutorial will be very familiar to people who have seen the watercolor tutorial. Alright, uh, once again I'm going to be looking at simulating a natural media painting technique in Photoshop, not just adding an effect after the fact, but really simulating the process of painting using oils, just as I did with watercolors. So here I am, I'm in Photoshop CS4, I'm going to create a new document, and uh, it doesn't need to be that big, I'm not going to make it that big, I'm going to make it about 5 by 7 because I don't want it to slow down too much, although it isn't too processor intensive. Uh, similarly with watercolor painting, there's always the option of using a program like Curl Painter, uh, which has an excellent watercolor simulation engine, but it is very processor intensive and the interface is just not as um, conducive to um, working as Photoshop. I mean, there's really no nice way to say it, but the interface of Painter is pretty bad. They're working on it, but it's still not ready for prime time. Alright, so I've created this document, um, and when you're working with oil on canvas, as with watercolor, texture plays a big role. With watercolor, you've got the um, concern of watercolor paper showing through the paint because the paint is translucent. Now, oil paint is sometimes translucent if you thin it out with a lot of paint thinner or if you're doing the early stages of your painting, but for the most part it's opaque um, and the way that the canvas texture comes through is a bit more subtle. However, there are a couple of different ways to get that canvas texture effect in Photoshop. I'm going to show you the first one because we're going to be using several techniques combined with each other. Now, when you pick a round brush in Photoshop, just a standard, you could call this a, just a standard hard round brush. Um, I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet, and so I'm going to put flow and opacity all the way, all the way up to 100. Um, right now I have uh, have this brush here, you can see pressure is causing it to get wider or narrower. That's pretty much a standard effect from using pressure sensitive tablets. But what I want to do is uh, simulate the effect of paint on a rough canvas. And in Photoshop's brush engine there is one way of doing that. In the brush settings palette you can go to texture and you can choose from one of the artist services I think burlap is actually even better than any of the canvas textures. It's the most intense. But here you can choose from various textures. You can experiment here. And then you'll see, you won't see much yet. Um, what you want to do is make sure that the mode is set to height. And then what you want to do is drag this slider pretty far down until you start to see the canvas texture make itself visible on your brush. And once you get pretty much below 20 percent you'll start to see the effect. Now what will happen when I take the same brush is that you'll see it has a little bit of an, of an effect of letting the canvas show through. And that's a pretty good start. But as we saw with the watercolor tutorial. This effect gets lost pretty quickly the second we want to blend colors. It works pretty well as long as you're not interested in blending colors on the canvas. And if you're used to painting with oils, there is a certain amount of on-canvas color blending that happens. I'm using my blender that I showed you in my previous tutorial. You can see the second I blend, all of that canvas texture is lost and it turns into a big blurry mess. So even though I like the texture setting on the Photoshop brush that I've created. 
I need to do something to protect that texture even if, um, even if I want to blend color. And the way to do that, as it was with the watercolor tutorial, is through layer group masking. But instead of using a watercolor paper texture, uh, I'm going to use a canvas texture. So I'm going to create a group. Right now this group is empty. I'm going to add a mask to that group. I'm going to fill the mask with a texture. Again, I'm going to use this burlap because I like it. And now, even though you can't see it, this group every, and everything that is within it will be masked according to the grayscale pattern set by that pattern. And because I don't want it to be too opaque, I'm going to lighten it up a little bit by applying a levels adjustment to the mask itself. I'm going to bring up the I'm going to bring up the minimum so that there won't be anything on the, the there won't be anything in this group that will be completely masked and most of it will be actually rather transparent. So we'll just get a subtle look of the canvas texture. So now if I create a new layer within this group um, even if I don't have that canvas texture that we showed before, even if I just use a plain brush, you can see that the canvas texture remains there. And I can go back in here and blend, and the canvas texture remains, which is really nice. But now, if we combine those two features together, of both the brush setting with texture and the layer group masking, those two things combined give um, pretty much most of what you would ever want for simulating oil painting. And I've created a number of brushes already that give me the kind of look that I want. You can see this is a flat brush. It's got a little bit of um, a rough edge to it. And you know, wherever I wherever I drag it, it changes direction. I also have um, bristle brushes that behave like rough war bristle, and you can see that the ability to blend paint on the canvas is just one aspect of oil painting. Now, as you start getting into more and more detailed work, you can create more and more of these masked layers and you can uh, build up a th sort of thicker appearance of canvas, uh, paint on canvas, without worrying about it looking too washed out because of the masking. So if I take, you can see on this newly masked layer, it's pretty masked itself, but when I go over the lower mask, it, the paint starts to look more opaque. So you can leave areas that are more visible and you can build up and almost make it look like you're making the paint thicker and thicker. And in a later tutorial I'll talk about doing some more kind of gimmicky effects of um, making the paint look kind of thick, like um, if you're trying to put it right out on the, from the tube with a palette knife for example. But I'll show you an example of um, something I did earlier with this technique and you can see try to get a little bit closer. You can see um, there's a nice canvas texture. There are a couple of places where I've done kind of a, a goopy paint effect, but overall I've been able to blend and get a lot of the quality that you would have with oil painting. I'm not much of an oil painter myself, so the, the limitation really has to do with my own personal skill level and my own ability to, to have good control over the technique, but um, if you look a little bit closer, you can see you can get all kinds of complex color blending um, by adjusting the flow of your brushes. You can do dry brush effects and um, scumbling, and you can see right around here, there's the, the way the paint sits in the hills and valleys of the canvas. And I think that this is more than um, suitable for most uses that, most illustration uses where you'd really want to do it in Photoshop and not on real paint with paint thinner and, and canvas and things like that. So I'm going to go into more detail about this another time, but 
at least for now, you can see some of the basics that will help you achieve this effect. And once again, thank you for watching. I hope that you found this useful, and I'll see you next time. And you can go to my website, www.zoepeel.com, for more information, or if you'd like to buy a print, that is always appreciated. Thank you.